We deliver the care into people's homes and keep them independent in their homes as long as they can. Majority of our clients are from cold backgrounds, people from the culturally and linguistically diverse community, multicultural people. We've got um, almost 49 languages that we, that we cover in communities that we cover. So what we're finding is the, the unique issues to the cold clients that we have are mainly language and the barriers there that um, clearly are obvious with, with not speaking possibly English or broken English. But we have found a trend with our aged uh, community, cold community, that they do revert back to their native tongue and um, even more so as they get older and possibly early onset of dementia. So what we do, we, we match up as best we can our home care workers to our clients so that there's no misinterpretation in the language there in regards to the information we're giving them. There isn't a one-size-fits-all approach to the cold community when you, when you are delivering care into their homes because they are, they are so different, uh, the cultures are very different and also the individuals are very different and it does depend on their background, whether they have been here for 50 years or they've been here for 10 years and it, it all impacts on how you actually deal with that individual and the cultures. We have a volunteer service as well and clearly we train the volunteers in regards to certain cultures and certain ways um, that they need to, to appreciate and respect from certain cultures. An example would be um, with a, a Chinese culture, if you're going into a home, into a Chinese home, you, you take your shoes off before entering the home. Um, now that's a given. Muslim cultures, we deliver a lot of education to the Muslim cultures and clearly the staff are informed that they need to, to cover up, the, the ladies particularly, they need to cover up what we term the clavicle area and the arms and the legs. If you look the Muslims in, in the eye, that, that is deemed disrespectful. So particularly if you're a lady um, looking into a, a gentleman's Muslim's I. So you don't do that. There are cultures you need to be aware of where um, you, you don't shake a person's hand and, um, and often looking down on the floor, looking down to the feet is respectful. But if you're not aware of that, that can cause, um, cause issues within the workplace and outside of the workplace. It's important to be aware of uh, religious considerations um, when working with a cold community. We do do a lot of research into their religious uh, needs, or we ask the client as well. Uh, we find that's the best way, is to ask the client. But we need to be mindful that we're not ignorant going in to, to deliver care to clients. We need to be aware of their cultures and their backgrounds and, and their history and what they've done and where they're from and what they've experienced in their countries. Listen to where they want to go to and just, just listen. Treat them as individuals, because everybody's an individual, regardless of their background, culture, and we need to know their story to care for them as, as well as we can.